Hi there and welcome back to my channel, all times. Anyways, I have a kind of a makeup crisis. I'm going through a makeup crisis these days. I have dry lips. Let me just moisturize my lips. So, the thing is, I am not 100% happy with the looks that I do. And I will be trying to do bolder looks. I will try to do more looks that have that wow factor in them, if that makes any sense. I got a request to try out a technique which... what was her name? Smita Deepak. But I'm going to write it down in the caption because uh, probably my pronunciation is not right. But uh, she did this hack video that involves mixing pigments or scraped off eyeshadows with eyeshadow primer and just allowing you to make precise lines with that you can turn pigments into foil shadows and stuff like that and I'm going to try out that technique today I do have a little bit of mascara on my eyes we're going to try to ignore that it's going to fall on my face probably throughout me blending eyeshadows and stuff like that oh it's the Fenty mascara it's not that great in terms of wear time it really crumbles and falls on the face so uh, I do expect that to happen, especially if I'm going to blend shadows on my lid. Let's get started. So I'm going to try out that technique and do that kind of a liner, kind of, I don't know how it's called, that kind of a cut crease thing. You're going to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer to serve as a base. I didn't really do my makeup with mascara on, so... Uh, We'll see how this goes. I saw a lot of people do mascara first and then eyeliner and I don't get it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's hard having lashes in, uh, in the way when you're trying to do things. I'm really excited for this because I have a lot of pigments that I'm not using. I do have lot of, lots of pigments from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. They sent me these in PR a while back. I think I have a rough idea of what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to use these two pigments, the ex-boyfriend shade and the ink jet shade and uh, create that shade that I don't know how to call and then maybe use silver lights which is the darkest one and do some additional lines near that we'll see I don't have a mixing plate so I'm just going to use my hand uh, I do have here my beloved shadow insurance from Too Faced so I'm going to take some of that out and I'm going to start with ex-boyfriend this is going to be really messy <laughs> and then I'm going to use a flat brush and mix in some of this eyeshadow primer I'm really curious about that oh that's lovely it's a little bit more sheer than it would be with uh, glitter glue what if I try to use glitter glue instead of eyeshadow primer? Maybe I'll try that with my other eye. The thing that I notice is that I don't have much fallout. I literally have more fallout from the mascara than from the glitter uh, a pigment, actually. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to move on and uh, the second shade is going to be very vibrant. This uh, ink blue shade. This is so messy. <laughs> That's why I usually don't go for loose pigments or glitters. So I'll use again a flat brush. It definitely takes away some of that vibrancy. I'm curious to see how it uh, reacts with the glitter glue instead of the eyeshadow primer. You can definitely build it up, but it kind of looks a little bit patchy. Here at this border I will try to fade them into one another. Something about my color choices that look very superhero-like lately. <laughs> Just going to try to lift this side here. Like I kind of want this side to be a little bit more straight and not as arched as it is right now. I'm pretty sure that you can use this technique only for graphic looks. Like if you're trying to do a color liner or something similar to this If you're trying to blend the colors, I don't think it's gonna work You can always do a cut crease again, like uh, mix a, a pigment, a shimmer or something like that And uh, 
just uh, tap it on the lid. Okay, here I have the NYX glitter glue and we're going to try the same thing but with this product instead. Uh, this just won't go away from my hand. I tried to wipe it away but it just doesn't go away. I'm just going to use the same brushes because why not? And mixing the glitter glue. It should be kind of the same result. That's what I expect at least. Yeah, it kind of feels the same. I think I just applied a little bit more on this side. That's why it's looking a little bit more vibrant. Okay, I always use pigments over glitter glue, but I just applied the glitter glue first and without mixing them before applying. I think I'm also going to fill in the edges of this side because they're looking quite... Um, quite sheer. Let's see the blue part. If we experience that same kind of patchiness. The blue is just so messy though. Damn it. <laughs> you gotta be careful with the amount of pigment that you mix in. You kind of need it to be a paste. And if you use too much pigment it's just going to crumble and fall apart. I think I have pigment everywhere. Like my desk is blue. I think my floor is blue. <sighs> This is going to be a mess to clean up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty patchy on this side as well. So you kind of need to build it up. And again, fading it into the other color. So yeah, I don't see much of a difference in terms of application. It's kind of the same whether you use eyeshadow primer or glitter primer. Now that I look closer at it, uh, I feel like the glitter primer side is much more pigmented, even the blue is so much more vibrant somehow, and it's shinier <laughs> somehow. This one is not as reflective as this one. So I don't know if it's the amount I applied, because you're mixing it, you're kind of making it custom every time. So I don't know if it's that or if the glitter primer is just better in this combination. Anyways, I'm going to take Silver Lights here, which is a dark silver pigment. Oh god, this is so messy. You don't want to see my desk right now. With this one, I'm going to use um, eyeliner, that kind of a detail brush. This kind of a brush. This is a Real Techniques Fine Liner brush. I'm just going to go into... No, I'm actually going to do the same thing. This side I'm going to do with eyeshadow primer and that side with... A glitter primer. I hate it. Anyways, trying to get over that and uh, let's see how this goes. I'll be trying to draw some fine lines and see if I manage to do that. Though my brush is pretty loaded, I feel like it would be a little bit hard to get precise lines. So I will define this shape here that I created. Mm. Like the pigment shade is maybe not dark enough for what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to replace black with this kind of a silver. Maybe I should just go into regular liner. Yeah, I mean you can draw lines with this technique. It's just that the contrast is not as, as high as I want it to be. Yeah, I'm just going to reach for black eyeliner for this. My hand, dude, my hand. I just, I just feel so uncomfortable right now. I literally, I'm literally so uncomfortable. Let me show you my desk. Like, I'm not a clean freak or anything, but this is another level of messy. I'm gonna take my Sephora Collection Ink Eyeliner, Intense Ink Liner. It's just the black one. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. I'm trying to go around this shape. And I'll stop talking because I literally cannot think why I'm doing this. That's my brain does not function. I kind of already hate this look. So I'm disappointed to say that, but it's the truth. I just hope that it gets better after I finish it. Oh wow, the way I despise this look is actually unreal. Just going to finish it up with a few more lines 
I don't know if lashes are going to save it for me today. I'm gonna try. This is not even placed properly. Damn, this is so bad. I did say that I hated my makeup lately, but none of the looks was so bad as this one. Maybe I should add more lines to my lower lash line to make it look more complete somehow. I'm just going to do my face. Even though this is kind of all over my face already. Let's just see how I can finish my lower lash line and maybe it will come together. Okay, I did my face off camera because I just did not see a point in doing my face on camera. I'm going to think what I want to do for my lower lash line. Probably again some kind of a graphic liner situation, that kind of a you got it right. <laughs> this is kind of a, like a challenge, you know. Can you ruin this look even more? And I'm like, let me just show you. <laughs> no, no, no idea what's that. <laughs> I don't know if I can apply this pigment on my waterline though. That might be a painful experience. I think I'll just go for a cream color like that and just call it a day don't ask me what this hairstyle is I literally just wanted to get the hair out of my face so you can see the look like keeping my hair down would not be the best choice with this look the whole look is a little bit weird the makeup is a little bit weird the hair is a little bit weird in the end I don't dislike this whole vibe as much as I did I mean, it's kind of bad. If you look closely, it's kind of patchy. The lines are not that straight. But like, it's kind of cute somehow, you know? It's weird. I actually wanted to try this more for that technique. So uh, let me know if you will try that technique by um, the YouTuber that I'm going to mention below. She's very popular. You've probably seen her videos on your feed a lot of times. Her videos always get uh, popular because she does like interesting techniques you kind of have to work with it it looks kind of patchy but maybe you won't try to do such graphic looks as this like i said if you're trying to do a cut crease and uh, trying to place down a pigment on the lid i feel like this could be a great technique for that i'm still looking at the makeup and trying to figure out if i want to add anything else uh, but i don't know <laughs> thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts about this look i won't get mad like, I don't really love it either, so... And I know it's not my best work. I don't know what is my best work, but it's not this one. <laughs> I have lipstick on my teeth. I'm sorry for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. And I'll see you next time. Bye!